Hey, what is going on guys? It's your boy Brody Noah coming at you with a middle school story. Now, um, middle school Noah wasn't really that interesting, but I thought this would be a pretty funny story to share. And um, this is going to be the time how these teachers busted these kids selling condoms in the bathroom. Let's get into it. Now, like I said, this is a middle school story specifically in the eighth grade towards the end of the year. And, you know, everybody was getting anxious. It was the end of the year. And I, I, I guess the end of the school year makes people lose their minds because... Uh, these people were selling condoms in the bathroom, specifically like this group of people. They had they they were like the weird skater kids, and they had their little gang, and they were like literally had a drug ring of selling condoms to people in different bathrooms all across the school. Like they had different checkpoints. It was so weird. So I'm in I'm in math class, and I'm like, hey, Mister, can I go to the bathroom? He was like, yeah, take your time. I hate when teachers tell me to take my time. So I took even longer than I was supposed to. Now, I walk into the dedicated 8th grade bathroom that's in my hallway section with all my classes and everything. So I walk in, and I see these two dudes come out of the stall. And I'm just like, what the... And the kid that's selling the condoms looks at me and goes, Hey man, you need you need protection? You need that rubber? I was like, dude, what the fuck are you talking about? He was like, you need condoms, man? I was like, no, why would I need condoms? I mean, yeah, I was a pretty horny pubescent motherfucker but i didn't need condoms because i wasn't doing the deed yet right so i told him no and he was like all right bro whatever and he just leaves J just straight up leaves and i i go back to class you know i'm telling i'm telling my buddy about it i'm like dude there's these dudes that are selling condoms in the bathroom he's like no you're late on this i was like what he's like dude this has been going on for weeks now and i was i was so shocked that I, for weeks Nobody caught these people selling condoms in the bathroom. And, like, I think they'd also sell, like, jewel pods, too. It was so weird. So, you know, I go home the next day, and I'm talking to Birdie T about this. And I'm like, dude, their kids at my school selling condoms. And he's just amazed because he's like, dude, why? There's, like, there's no need for all that. And I was like, oh, yeah, they're also selling mango jewel pods when those were still a thing. And he's like, bro, your school's crazy. White people are crazy. And I was like, bro, I know. So the next day comes along, right? And, you know, I go through the day as normal, and I get into math class. Again, same period, same time. I ask the teacher to go to the bathroom. He's like, all right, go. This time he didn't tell me to take my time. So I was like, all right, well, you know, since I have homework to do, I'll take, you know, I'll be quick. I walk in, and the little group of people that are standing there are, like, counting their cash that they made yesterday and today. And I walk in, and they're like, Hey, bro, you won't snitch on us, right? I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no, I ain't, I ain't no snitch. And I'm going through the bathroom, and I'm, you know, I'm doing my business, and I'm washing my hands, and my co-teacher walks in. My co-math teacher walks in. And, like, because I guess I was taking too long, he walks in, sees the condom in the kid's hand, seeing the kid giving him money, and he just put two and two together. He was like, what's going on here? And I, I, he was like, not nothing sir nothing he's like what's that in your hand why are you giving him money and the kid was just he was done he was caught in the act he was caught red-handed he was like nothing nothing and he quickly they all put the money away and they all put their stuff away he's like you 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 come with me to the office and he's like no get back to class and i'm like okay so i i was so baffled by what i saw and i, I was just so shocked i talked to my friend about it he's like dude that's so funny I was just so lost for words because it happened so fast. <laughs> so I go, I, you know, the day finishes and I'm like, what the heck? And I get a, I get messages on Instagram from these kids because they thought I snitched on them. They literally thought I got my teacher to bust them. And they, they all got suspended for, or they didn't get suspended. They got like warned or something. Like, they were all mad, and they were like, oh, we're going to come beat you. I, I texted back. I'm like, oh, what are you guys going to do? Group group up on me with your skateboards? Because I, I, I didn't care. I didn't snitch, and I know I didn't. So, I, you know, I I couldn't be in the wrong in this situation. So, they were all pretty mad at me, and they were like, oh, when we see you, we're going to fight you. Like, pull up somewhere. And I was like, oh, look, I'm not going to fight you because I didn't snitch on you. Whatever. And I just left it. So, I go back to school, and they, they're all chill with me. I just, it was so confusing. So, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this story. Make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.